Hello, this is Dr. Riaz, and in this lecture, I am going to explain about the descriptive research. So, descript what are the descriptive research in which I will explain in detail what is the problem in descriptive research, research question, how to make the objective and what theoretical model we use in it and what type of the survey we design. So, you will learn in detail and I, I will clear your concept, crystal clear concept. So, first of all, what is the research problem? For finding the research problem, you have to observe your education system and find the problem. And you also read the literature, research paper, dissertation and thesis and find the gap. Where is the gap in the research? And mostly, uh, you can find the research problem in, in the thesis dissertation in the last chapter where the recommendation have been given. So, from where you will find the research problem. In the research problem, you will design the title in which you will decide whether you would like to conduct the qualitative research, quantitative research, mixed method research and then you will decide what type of variable or word you need in the title. So, after selecting a research problem, making a title, then you have to design the search question. Mostly your search question start with who, what, where, when and who. And I think the majority of questions start with what and who. Who? Because who tell the process? So after designing the research question, you will move toward objective. Identify relation between the variables or determine the group. And your research group uh, objective also tell that which test type of test you will apply if you have a a quantitative research, you will decide, you will apply the t-test like, you will find the relation and you will find what if you like. So, it gives the clear direction. But, because there are variable and const constant in your search. So, what are variable and constant? Variable. An observer atom that is used directly measure in a search study, for example, gender, age, company, name, number of employees, number of customer, amount spent, and extra. Construct, on the other hand, are unobservable concept measure indirectly by several related variables. For example, service quality, satisfaction, materialism, best customer, etc. So, after the variable and construct, you have to think about your hypothesis. Mostly, students ask me, what is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is an empirical testable statement of relation developed to the explained phenomena often based on theory. So, hypothesis, there are some example of hypothesis. First, non-directional. For example, there is a significant difference in the satisfaction level for iPod user versus zone user. So, there is no direction because we are comparing the uh, here iPod and Zoom. Non-directional hypothesis. Student with high GPA consume less alcohol than student with low GPA. So, 
in this example there is no direction this is negative direction because there is no relation between alcohol and gpa positive directional hypothesis students with high gpa and good overall study habits are more likely to participate in campus leadership opportunity yes it is a positive directional hypothesis so after the hypothesis <coughs> no we discuss theoretical model uh, and for example i am going to take the restaurant customer loyalty model here food employees service value atmosphere these all are in the dependent variable and satisfaction is the dependent variable so potential hypothesis satisfaction is positively related to perception of food employees service value and atmosphere loyalty is positively related to satisfaction so in this way you can make the theoretical model of in any field education business medical uh, for conducting the research